Hi, I'm Mark Jerkowitz. I'm the Associate Director of the Pew Research Center's Project for Excellence in Journalism. One of the significant findings in the new State of the News Media report is that at a time when newsroom reporting resources are diminishing, many newsmakers, including those in political and public life, are increasingly finding new ways to get their messages to the public, often with no or minimal journalistic vetting. That was quite evident, actually, in the coverage that we saw of the 2012 presidential race between Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. One thing we found in the 2012 presidential race was that the news media themselves played a smaller role in shaping what the public heard about the candidates than they have in previous campaigns. So we looked at something called the character narratives about the candidates, stories about their records, their personalities, their families, their attributes. And in the 2012 campaign, only about a quarter of those assertions, those character narratives about the candidates, actually came from the news media, while about half of them originated with the candidates themselves, their campaigns, or their political allies. If you look back to the 2000 campaign, for example, the ratios were reversed. The candidates and their campaigns actually use this leverage to convey more negative messages about each other than we've seen in previous campaigns. In both the case of Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, about 70% of those narratives were negative and only about 30% of them were positive. Why? Because mainly we were hearing what each candidate was accusing the other of. In the case of Obama, he was accusing Romney of being an out-of-touch elitist sort of vulture capitalist. In the case of Romney, he was accusing Obama of simply not being able to handle the economy. What's interesting is if you look only four years earlier, you find a very different tone to those narratives. There was another change in coverage from the 2008 campaign that we noticed this year. And that was the amount of coverage that we would call horse race coverage. Coverage about polls, strategy, answering the question of who's winning and who's losing and little else. Um, in the 2012 campaign, that was actually down by about a third from what we saw in the 2008 campaign. That despite that, we actually did not see more coverage of the issues, more coverage of the policy debates on domestic or foreign matters than we did four years earlier. In fact, in both campaigns, the policy issues only accounted for about 20% of all the coverage that we saw. There was an unprecedented use of social media by the campaigns in the 2012 election. The use of blogs, Twitter, YouTube, or Facebooks to go out and reach news consumers and, and citizens and voters directly. But in the period that we looked at, it was clear the Obama campaign was doing considerably more of it than the Romney campaign. In fact, the Obama campaign posted about twice as many YouTube videos and twice as many blog posts as the Romney campaign. And when it came to Twitter, the ratio in favor of the Obama campaign was about 25 to 1. One thing that we did notice in monitoring the social media conversation about the candidates in the 2012 presidential campaign is that social media users took a dim view of both men. On Facebook, Twitter, and blogs, the conversation was consistently more negative than positive about both candidates, although it was a little less negative for Barack Obama. Interestingly, there was one candidate in the 2012 presidential race who was a social media favorite. And if social media had had their wish, apparently, we would have inaugurated President Ron Paul in Washington in January. One other lesson that we learned from the 2012 campaign is that while political spending was on the uptick and filled the wallets and coffers of news organizations, the campaign season did not attract bigger audiences. In fact, in local television, where a record $2.9 billion was spent in political advertising, the audiences were down in all three key day parts, early morning, early evening, and at nighttime. On network news, audiences were down during the presidential campaign season in both the evening newscasts and the morning newscasts. And even on cable news, where there's so much emphasis on politics and political discourse and debate, the 2012 presidential campaign season didn't do much for eyeballs. In fact, audience numbers barely inched up, and on CNN, they actually declined during the presidential campaign season. To learn more about what has happened to the audiences and the economics of television news, as well as newspapers, audio, and digital platforms, please read our new State of the Media report at www.stateofthemedia.org.